Hi everyone, in this video we will discuss about the explosive form. So let's get into this video. Definition Shaping metal parts in dyes by using an explosive charge to generate forming pressure. The shaping or modifying of metals by means of explosive. Various techniques Explosive forming operations can be divided into two groups. Number 1 standoff method and number 2 contact method. Standoff method in this method, metal plate is placed over a die with the intervening space evacuated by a vacuum pump. Then hole assembly is placed under water and explosive material is placed at an appropriate height above the plate. For complicated shapes, a segmented die can be used. Contact method In this method, the explosive charge is held in direct contact with the workpiece while the detonation is initiated. The detonation produces interface pressures on the surface of the metal up to several million psi. This is the diagram showing the explosive forming. Explosive is held at a certain height from the workpiece. The workpiece is held by a clamp and a vacuum line through the die. The hole is set up in a tank. This is another method, a workpiece, forming die and a cartridge is present. This is the series of process explaining the explosive forming. This is the first one is the before the detonation is initiated and during detonation second image and third image is the after detonation the sheet metal is formed in the die. Process. The rapid change in explosive into a gas produces a shock wave. The pressure of this shock wave is sufficient to form metal sheet. The peak pressure P due to explosion generated in water is given by the expression P is equal to K into W power half by R power A where P is in PSI. K is the constant. Depends on the type of explosive, W is the weight of the explosive in pounds, R is the distance of the explosive from workpiece and A is the constant. Examples are shown. Other examples, rocket engine nozzle and space shuttle skin. Advantages, it can stimulate a variety of other conventional metal forming techniques such as stamp or press forming and spin forming in a single operation. Explosive or hydro forming can efficiently form large parts up to 4 inch square or 10 inch in diameter. It is practically suitable for short production runs of a large parts such as occurs in aerospace applications. It maintains precise tolerances and eliminates costly wells. Disadvantages Low tooling costs but high labor cost Suitable for low quantity production Due to shock waves and spilling of water It is not suitable to carry out indoor It should be done in open air Comparison Between uh, explosive forming and super plastic forming In explosive forming An explosive charge is used instead of a punch or press In super plastic forming Punch or press is used to form metal sheet forming. It can be used for large size of metal sheets. It can be only used for limited die design. No preheating required before the explosive forming, whereas here preheating requires less production cost, high production cost. Any product size, shape, and sheet thickness is possible. It can be used for definite shape, size, and sheet thickness. So thank you for watching, if you like this video put a thumbs up and please share, comment and subscribe this channel. Thank you for watching.